Good morning everyone, Tina Spaulding here, Trance Channel, for our daily Course in Miracles lessons. I apologize for the mistake I made yesterday, I was trying to do too many things at once, I think. Today's lesson is lesson number 60, I'm sure it's lesson number 60, and this, this is another review day. So, uh, number one, reviewing lesson number 46, God is the love in which I forgive. God does not forgive because he has never condemned. The blameless cannot blame, and those who have accepted their innocence see nothing to forgive. Yet forgiveness is the means by which I will recognize my innocence. It is the reflection of God's love on earth. It will bring me near enough to heaven that the love of God can reach down to me and raise me up to him. Number two, reviewing lesson 47. God is the strength in which I trust. It is not my own strength through which I forgive. It is through the strength of God in me which I am remembering as I forgive. As I begin to see, I recognize his reflection on earth. I forgive all things because I feel the stirring of his strength in me. And I begin to remember the love I chose to forget, but which has not forgotten me. And number three, there is nothing to fear. How safe the world would look to me when I can see it. It will not look anything like what I imagine I see now. Everyone and everything I see will lean towards me to bless me. I will recognize in everyone my dearest friend. What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven and that has forgiven me? Number four, reviewing lesson number 49. God's voice speaks to me all through the day. There is not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There is not a moment in which his voice fails to direct my thoughts, guide my actions and lead my feet. I am walking steadily on towards truth. There is nowhere else I can go because, because God's voice is the only voice and the only guide that has been given to his son. And number five, reviewing lesson number 50. I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with the vision he has given me, I remember that I am his son. And that is lesson number 60, reviewing several ideas. Let's see what Jesus has to say today. <clears throat> You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And as we walk along this path, there are stumbling blocks that you will reach. These are issues that have been assigned to you as important issues for you to deal with in this incarnation. Now, there are many, many of you that are dealing with multiple lifetimes of issues that have heretofore been ignored or you have not been able to master them and they are showing up in this incarnation. That is why many of you are having a difficult time with this particular time in this particular part of your life because before you came into this incarnation you decided that you wanted to deal with as many things as possible to clear as much as possible for various reasons that we are not going to go into at this time in this lesson. But we want you to know that when you stumble on one of these uh, bumps in the road and you fall over, and you brush yourself off and you get back up and you look at that tricky, trippy thing that you just fell over, we do not want you to be sad or mad at yourself. We do not want you to say, I am a bad Course in Miracles student because I could not manage that particular situation with my mother, my father, my body, my food, my addictions, my resentments, whatever it is that you did not manage today or yesterday. We want you to forgive yourself and say to yourself, ah, that is why I am here. 
I don't know how to handle that situation. I don't know how to do that. Why would I attack a small child for misspelling a word? Why, why would I attack a child for falling over when it's learning to walk? I would not do those things. And so I will not do those things to me as I am learning to recognize that which is unloving in me. If it is unloving and it is in my mind, it is not of God. It is not going to stay. And therefore, I must see it. I must trip over it to recognize that it is not loving, that it can take me down into sadness and suffering. And that means that it's not me, not the real me, not the true me that is at home with God, that is aligned with love. And so this thing that I just encountered is not actually me. I'm not going to own it in that sense, but I have contributed to allowing it to live inside my consciousness and therefore manifesting in my life. But it is not the true me. And so I will not beat myself up. I will not hate myself because of something that I have done or a situation that I was not able to handle well. I am going to look on it with forgiving eyes and say, ah, there is a thing that I need to have a look at. It is not loving. It is not uh, extending love. It is not adding to the world in a positive way. And so it is not real in that sense. It does not belong here. It does not belong in my holy mind. This will really help you to stop beating yourselves up when you make errors. Errors are good things because they show you where you are unstable or unable to handle something. And that means that you need to look at it and you need to bring it up into the light and offer it up for healing and also to look where you contribute to maintaining that belief. This is, the, this is your side of the street, so to speak. You bring it up into the light. You say, ah, I'm very frightened of this thing or I hate this thing, but I don't want that unlo unloving concept in my mind. I'm going to ask for help to have it removed from my mind and I am going to look at where I strengthen it on a daily basis. And that is the process that you would use to, to weaken a belief. You first must see where you strengthen it, the behaviors or words or deeds or thoughts that you employ on a regular basis that keep that belief alive. Once you see it, then you can begin to use your free will to choose other thoughts, other words, other behaviors. And that belief will lose your power added to it. And then it can be lifted from your consciousness because you literally no longer want it. You are not strengthening it. I am that one that you know is Jesus. And we will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Bye.